Hello everyone. This video is on finding the point of intersection of two lines. So two lines are said to intersect at a point if at that specific point the two lines are the same. So for example, if I have two lines, the first one I'm going to call f of x and then another line which I'm going to call g of x, then f of x and g of x intersect at a point B if at that point f of x is the same as g of x. Okay, so that is the point of intersection of f of x and g of x. Any other point aside b, these two lines do not intersect. So at that point, g of x is not the same as f of x. So if we want to know the point at which they intersect, what we need to do is to basically equate the two the equation of the two lines and then find the point at which the two lines intersect. So we're going to look at some examples. Um, the first one we're going to look at is um, under exercises. So it says find the point of intersection of the following lines. And the first one is, um, the first line is given us y is equal to 5x plus 2. And then the second line is given us y is equal to 3x squared plus 15x plus 5. So if we want to know the point of intersection, it means at that point, the two lines are the same. So we equate the two lines. Okay, so let's call this line 1 and let's call this line 2. So at the point of intersection, line 1 is the same as line 2. Okay, so we have 5x plus 2. This is equal to 3x squared plus 15x plus 5. All right, so if we simplify this further, we're going to get um, 3x squared plus, sorry, 10x, then plus 3. This is equal to 0. This is quadratic equation. Okay, so we, we solve it using um, factorization or using the quadratic formula, or you can graph it. Um, whatever approach that you're comfortable with. Okay, so we're going to use factorization. So this is going to give us um, 3x squared, then plus x plus 9x plus 3. This is equal to 0. So we group the first two, and then we group the last two. Then factorize what is common between the first term and the second term, and what is common there is x. So we pull out x, and we're left with 3x plus 1. What is common between 9x and 3, and that is plus 3. So we pull out plus 3, and we're left with 3x plus 1. This is equal to 0. Okay, so the two factors of this quadratic are x plus 3 and then 3x plus 1. This is equal to 0. So from this two, um, we equate the first two, 0. This means that x is equal to minus 3. And then also we have 3x plus 1 equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 1 over 3. So this, we have two sets of um, points for the x coordinates. That means, this means that these two lines, line y1 and line y2, meet at two points. So now that we know the x coordinates, we, all we need to do is to find the y coordinates. And there are two sets of x coordinates, so it means we're going to get two sets of y coordinates. So they're going to be two points. Um, meaning that the two lines intersect at these two points. Okay, so when x is equal to minus 3, we substitute this value into any of these two equations. Any of them will give us the y coordinate because at that point, these two lines are the same. Okay, so if we substitute this into the line 1, then we have y is equal to 5 times minus 3 plus 2. That means y is equal to minus 15 plus 2 and that will give us minus 13 okay so it means that one of the intersecting points is minus 3 and then minus 13. then we do the same for the other x coordinates find its corresponding y coordinates and so this will give us y is equal to 5 into bracket minus 1 over 3 plus 2 
so y is equal to minus 5 over 3 plus 2 so y is equal to um, 1 over 3 so the other coordinate at which the two lines intersect are minus 1 over 3 and then 1 over 3 okay now let's look at another example in our exercises which is exercise number two um, once again we have two lines and we want to find the point at which these two lines intersect okay so we have y1 is equal to 3x minus 3 and then y2 is equal to 2.3 x plus 4 so to know the point at which they intersect it means we quit line y1 to line y2 and this means 3x minus 3 is equal to 2.3x plus 4. Now rearranging this will give us 3x minus 2.3x is equal to 4 plus 3. This is 0.7x is equal to 7 and this means that x is equal to 10. So if we have the x coordinate we substitute this x coordinate into any of the two equations and that will give us the y coordinate. Okay, so if we substitute this x of 10 into line 1, then y is equal to 3 times 10 minus 3. This is 30 minus 3, which will give us 27. So the point at which these two lines, line y1 and line y2, intersect are the point 10 comma 27 okay now let's look at um, the third example which is um, quadratic where we have line one want to be given as um, x squared so line one y1 is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 and then line y2 is equal to x plus 7. To know the point at which these two lines intersect, it means at that point, line y1 is the same as line y2. Okay, so we have x squared plus 2x plus 1. This is equal to x plus 7. Uh, simplifying further, we have x squared plus x minus 6 is equal to 0. Once again, we have a quadratic, so we need to simplify um, using any of, any of the quadratic ex, um, expression, or oh, sorry, quadratic uh, formula, or we can use a factorization, any approach that is convenient for you. Okay, so we're going to use factorization here. That will give us x squared, then plus 3x minus 2x minus 6 is equal to zero okay so we group the first two and then we group the last two and then we start with our factorization common between the first term and the second term is x so we bring out x and we are left with x plus three common between minus two x and minus six that will be minus two and we are left with x plus three this is equal to zero so the two factors are x minus two and then x plus 3 equal to 0. So if we create the first to 0, x minus 2 equal to 0 means x is equal to 2. And then x plus 3 equal to 0 means x is equal to minus 3. So there are two x coordinates. It means the two lines intersect at two points. Okay, so if we have two x coordinates, then it means that we're also going to get two y coordinates. So to get the y coordinate, we just substitute the x equals to 2 in any of these two equations, and that will give us the y coordinate because at that point the two lines are the same. So if we substitute x equals into equation 2, then y is equal to that is line 2, y is equal to 2 plus 7, which is 9. And if you substitute x is equal to minus 3 in line 2. That will be y is equal to minus 3 plus 7. This is equal to 4. 
So the two lines intersect at the point 2 and 9, and then at the point minus 3 and 4. Okay, so if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. If, um, if not, then please keep watching the videos. I'm going to leave the last part to you as an exercise. Try your hands on it. If you get stuck somewhere, please go back and watch the video. Alright, wish you all the best.